Last few days, we've been cutting down some trees. Yeah, just a few trees. That's my sawmill pile over there. Got some fantastic uh, cherry. Got some walnuts in a stack over at the far side. So today, well, tomorrow will be burn day where I get rid of the big bonfire at the bottom and then load it with these things. I tend to load after I've lit because it's just uh, gives me something to do as well as keeps the fire feeling like it's a little more under control. Burn the little stack is too mangled to put through the chipper. And then these three stacks over here will go through the big, the big chipper. And then of course I've got another stack over here, right? Stacks of wood everywhere. The trouble is I tend to stack wood that I want to use. So that was going to be a sawmill pile and more than half of it is now too bad too far gone and uh, we're starting to accumulate way too much wood so this cherry will go almost where i want it to go the weight is towards the magnolias but if I hinge it towards the open grass over there I should be able to get it to fall in the right direction that poplar in the middle is nice and straight that'll go wherever I want it to go so I think I'll drop that over here towards the brush pile keep it out of the big oaks Yeah, I think I'll definitely bring that down over that way. Um, and that leaves me with just one leaner where I'll need a little bit of help from, from my uh, excavator, the big girl, I think this time, because she's got the weight at the top heading straight towards the magnolias, which we don't want to destroy. Plus it's a leaner because that was one of the trees that was on the edge of the woodland and it was growing towards the light. So I'm gonna to have to put the excavator um, not directly in the danger zone, but I'll probably put it about 45 degrees in from this direction, hinge it in that direction and try and push it backwards. I might change my mind after I've dropped this cherry because it might uh, I might prefer to bring it this way. But we'll see. We'll see what the day brings. First thing that's happening is that poplar there is coming down. And I do believe it'll go just where I want it to go. And you can see why we're clearing this land. This little knoll here has uh, spectacular views. And we will I don't think we'll open it up anymore. I think this just is a a great spot. Leave the trees leave many of the trees that, that blocks all of the various buildings that are around here. And then just uh, I might take a couple of the poplars down. In the winter time we have a 360 degree view from pretty much uh, the top of both hills. And uh, if we opened it up, of course, we would gain that view. It's kind of, it's nice to have it in the winter time and in the summer have all of the lights from the various homes in the distance blocked out. Because in the winter, it's a lot of street lights, a lot of house lights compared to an urban environment, of course. There's, there's not, but uh, 
we've lived here for six years and it's getting slowly developed but anyway this is a very nice spot that we enjoy so out with the big saw i think that tree's probably about 36 inch um i'll use the big girl and bring her down i think i'll bring her directly where i'm standing here that'll be a good shot yeah straight down here between these two trees Well, I actually think I need help with this one. The weight is a little bit back on itself, so I'm gonna get, get the excavator and go behind it, give it a bit of a push. Doesn't need much of one, but it started to pinch down on the bar of the saw, so it's, uh, the weight is in the wrong direction. It doesn't wanna behave itself, so I'm gonna give it a shove.
I'm very happy with this one. Very nice cherry. So, I don't know a thousand people have shown this, but cut your V in the direction you want it to fall. Back cut it, leave yourself a hinge. If the weight of the tree, of course, is enough, it'll fall. If not, you give it a shove. Uh, that hinge is a little uneven, but I wanted it to be thicker on the left so that it would bias towards the left. At least that's my theory, and it landed exactly where I wanted it, so that's good. And I've got a good... I've got one very nice 10-foot log, and then two more fairly good 10-foots. My big disappointment, unfortunately, though, is the poplar. Perfectly healthy-looking, humongous poplar. Expecting to get a whole bunch of good logs from it. And uh, I've discovered, of course, that it is rotted right down the middle. And that's why I had the problem dropping it. Big hole in the middle, big hole in the first log. Had to cut another four feet off it. Sorry, four feet there. Another four feet here, but now it's good. And I should be able to get probably two twelves. Might even get two twelves and uh, eight. So that'll be good. On with the tidy up, which is a little boring for videos. So today I think it's going to be mostly cleanup day. Got the larger of the fires going. I have uh, two more stacks over there that need to go on the fire after it's burnt down. I certainly don't want to go near it right now. It's very hot. Very, very hot. And then one more poplar to come down, which is that guy at the end. And then two little oaks that are in there that you can't really see. And that is it for dropping trees. One of the things we were trying to do is get these glorious oaks exposed and visible, which they are now. Beautiful, great big things. We've got two or three more in there, um, which will be a little clearer later after I go in there and fetch some big logs out. I've got to do a bit of clearing to get in there and get the logs. But uh, got to get the big girl running in order to push that poplar down. So I've got to push that the wrong way against all of its weight which is uh, it's not going to want to go but uh, the big girl can push pretty much anything so that'll uh, it'll go easy enough fire looks like it's set looks like that's going to do well and uh, get up to the barn get the big girl going come on back down again fire's been burning well about time to push it together and load it back up again hot as heck and the big news of the day is I set the camera up turned it on went and cut and pushed this tree down and guess what the camera was not on so tree went exactly where I wanted it to go with a little help from the big girl I've got one 12 foot monster poplar one humongous great cherry that'll make a fantastic few table slabs the poplars are all going to be two by sixes for the uh, the porch ceiling in Jonesboro so I do tens for table slabs and twelves for dimensional lumber Big old girl's going great. Shouldn't call her an old girl. She's not that old. She is a wonderful, spectacular, and beautiful machine. So now it's some tidy up work to be done. Had to cut some stub ends off because the middle of the poplar is dead as usual. They, even even the, uh, the healthy looking ones die upwards from the root ball. This one extended maybe only six feet, but quite often they'll go further than that. 
But anyway, pick up all the stuff, get my other chainsaw out, sharpen it up, get the little excavator down here because she's easier to maneuver. I think I'll go cut and move that big log over there before I put the big girl away.
intentionally shut her off.
So this is the end of, I guess you call it, day one of cleanup. We've been dropping trees for four or five days, but uh, today's the first day where there's no more tree dropping. So the big bonfire is burnt down. That'll be good for the night. Tomorrow morning I'll load up all that stuff, get another big fire going. All of the trees are done. Got a nice big stack of 12 foot poplar and a fair stack of 10 foot as well. The 10s are mostly for boards, the 12s are for 2x6s, 2x4s. A lot of cherry, nice cherry. But uh, you can see that uh, we're not exactly finished. So bring the chipper down tomorrow, throw all the light stuff through the chipper, except I'll probably burn it faster than chip it, to be honest. Except we want chips. It's a little windy. It's nice and cool, low 70s. So a lot of brush, a lot of brush. Some logs, not many logs for the mill. Oh, I've left my saw sitting right there. I need to bring that up to the house, but it's, uh, it's looking better and better every day. It'll be good when these brush piles are gone and I'll start ferrying the logs up to the house. Stack them up near the mill. fetch any more down over there. Clean it all up, see what it looks like. And that's the end of a good long day.